Welcome back everyone, we have another unboxing and review video for the Mage G MK Store Mechanical Gaming Keyboard. I bought this from Shopee, it has an option for blue and red switch, and I ordered the blue switch which cost 1,219 Philippine Peso. You might notice that this keyboard are all pink, that is because this is for my preteen daughter. Watch the whole video to know if this is kid friendly and durable enough for kids harsh usage especially when they are playing games. Okay, let's unbox this girly keyboard. It has a low key normal brown box. This is a full 104 keys keyboard with 12 multimedia function keys and 24 backlit modes. It has a solid metal construction, blue switches which are the clicky switch, and a double shot injection molded keycaps. We see the layout of the keyboard at the back of the box along with some key features that I mentioned. This is a really heavy keyboard and based on paper, this should be an ergonomic keyboard as well. We'll see later. Let's open the box now. Wow, it is really pink. We have a key puller here. We have a really pink and girly keyboard here. Even the cable is all pink. Of course, we have the user manual. A long user manual. Let's go back to the keyboard. This is a very heavy keyboard. It looks really good at pink. The build is solid. The keys are all nice and everything looks sturdy. The cable is also thick, maybe more than 1 mm thick with USB-A interface. This is a true blue switch since it has a really clicky keys here. As you can see, this is a full 104 keys keyboard with the number pad and all. The back is also solid with a sturdy and solid stand. The stand nicely snaps into place. I like the build of this keyboard a lot. Let's try to take out the key here and check if this is indeed the blue switch. This is the keycaps, a nice double shot injection molded key. And we have the blue switch here. The key clicks halfway through the press. Let's put back the key here. The bottom of the key is open or exposed to maximize the backlight like any other modern keyboards nowadays. Let me put this back in the table as my arm is now feeling the stress from this very heavy keyboard. I'm really impressed with the solid build of this keyboard. Looks like this is a perfect match for any kid's heavy use and abuse of tech gadgets. The mouse weighs 3 grams shy of 1 kilogram as expected. A really heavy solid keyboard. The Mage G MK Storm keyboard measures 43 by 13.5 centimeters for its length and width and the height is at 2 centimeters on its thickest point. To give you a bit of an immersive experience with the Mage G MK Storm keyboard, I will let you hear how the key sounds. Now let me show you the lighting modes. The specs on this keyboard is so inconsistent across sellers and search results. Some says 20, some says 18. The box I have says 22, but based on my testing, it actually has 24 backlit lighting mode, which I am showing you now in the screen with numbers. To switch through the lighting mode, you can press the function key with the combination of either scroll lock, delete, home, and page up or page down keys. To adjust the brightness, you can use the function key combined with up or down arrow keys. For the light animation speed, you can press function along with the plus or minus keys to adjust. Enjoy watching the lighting mode for now.
My daughter has been using the Mage G MK Storm keyboard for a week now and every time I ask her how's the keyboard, her thumbs up and a big smile says everything. She is an avid player of Genshin Impact and looks like the keyboard's form and the immersion that you get from the clicky blue switch has been helping her enjoy the game more. Yes, the keyboard is a heavy one but that is actually a plus. We don't lift the keyboard when using it and we actually want it to stay in place and that hefty weight helps a lot with that. Beside from testing the keyboard myself, I also observe my daughter a lot when she's using it. Typing is really fun on MK Storm. The travel of the fingers is nice. There's actually almost no adjustment for me. On my daughter's side, I can say the same. She is familiar on using a full 104 keys keyboard and I did not observe any adjustment from her as well. With the keyboard's common layout and solid build, I think she enjoys it a lot. Speaking of build, I believe the 1200 price tag of the keyboard is reasonable as this kind of form will make it last for a long time. The clean single pink color is also lovely to look at. It's not as splashy as other keyboards. It's clean, professional, and definitely a girly look or what we call in the Philippines, kikai. I don't know much about the materials used on these keycaps and switches, but the ones used on this keyboard is definitely on par with the 2200 work Royal Clutch Keyboard RK87 that I have. If I am to nitpick, I would ask Mage G to make the backlight be an RGB color instead of a plain white light, but that's just me. I'm sure many people also appreciate the plain white light combination with the whole pink look. I actually also like it a lot. Maybe I'm just used to the RGB lights in my keyboard. Alright, that's all I have for this video. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you love it, please consider subscribing to the channel. Nila Suj for watching. No bias.